This week, Power Pivot and Slicers. Power Pivot is this awesome uh, add-in for Excel 2010, and I love everything about Power Pivot. But there's one thing about it: when you use Slicers, the Power Pivot team, uh, which actually included some former Excel project managers, uh, said we're going to make Slicers look better than they look in regular Excel. In regular Excel, the Slicers always overlap each other, and it, it's just ugly. So the Power Pivot team actually takes some control, and as you add slicers in, they decide the best way that things are going to look. All right, so they always redesign. And that's great unless you want to have some control. So let's say that you decide, well, no, I want the mall developer to uh, be smaller. And so you resize it like this and you think that everything's good. Watch, <laughs> they take control. They just bring it right back. And if that starts to drive you crazy, I have a great way to go. There's actually a uh, drawing object here that holds all of these slicers, the power pivot slicers. I'm going to take the slicers and drag them outside of that, drag it outside of that. Once you take it outside of this drawing object, you now have absolute control. So you can uh, change the size, you can change the shape, you can do whatever you want and Power Pivot will not redraw. You can even delete this control and uh, now you just Power Pivot no longer has control of the slicers, you have control and everything is good.